for your son. Come on. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand, people. comes when you worship him. Makes him so real when you adore him. Forget yourself and love him now. Call him master. Savior, Savior. Jesus. Like the fragrance after cell in your body. He's the Savior my soul. He's the Savior my soul. He's the name Lift your voices, saints. In the precious name of the Lord. The one we adore with all our hearts and lives. It's the Savior of our souls. He is the Savior. He's the Savior. Not worthy. So grateful. So grateful. Why, Lord? Why would you do it? To love me like this. To love each one of us like this. I would not want to serve another. Or love another but you. Thank you, Lord. 
the privilege. You could have easily cut us off. You could have easily just said, I don't want him. Thank you for, for not doing that. You could have very easily walked away. But you did not walk away. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. All glorious. And you are so glorious. Preparing us. Your temple, please. Oh, we want it so badly, please. Born as living stones, where you're enthroned, as you rose from death and power, and Lord, the same power is ours. You promised it. Come rise with him. Our worship, rise upon our praise. Let the hand that saw you raise clothe us, please clothe us in your glory. Draw us by your grace. and just adore him please see him at God's right hand loving and forgiving never leave us never leave
years suffering with multiple sclerosis and tonight she can walk by herself without any chair without any person multiple sclerosis for 42 years come here come here come here you're not done singing remain standing come dear you had ms excuse me you had ms yes so that's 29 pardon i was 29 i was diagnosed i'll be 62 the sixth day next month i lean wholly on the lord and i don't take the shots i don't take none of that stuff what happened tonight i can walk straight pardon i can walk straight let's see come on Yeah. Pastor, I have her son over here. Come here, come here. He's helped her all come these here. years. Where do you live? Pardon? Litchville, Kentucky, 80 miles from here. You can verify this about your mommy? Yes. 42 years, I've never seen her walk a straight line. One more time for your son, come on. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand, people. Jesus, oh Jesus. The Lord is filling you with the Spirit now. Take your seats, please. Just lift your hands and receive whatever you are. Jesus, oh Jesus. Jesus. Now you go and thank the Lord for what he's done for you. God love you, darling. Help her down, gentlemen. What happened to the gentleman, Joan? This is a spinal condition, Pastor. Come. And he's had it for many, many years. They wanted to operate on him. He could not jump up and down. He could not run. He could not stand and, and without the pain. What was wrong with him? A spinal condition. His vertebrae were grown wrong from birth. Huh? The, the vertebrae were shifted forward for many years. I could lift, but whenever I would bend and, and twist in one direction or the other direction, I would always be in pain. But during worship... I felt heat going through my back, heat going through my whole body. Also, I've had a lot of emotional hurts and pains in my past that God has totally done it. That it just healed me so much inside my, uh, the brokenness inside my heart, been totally healed and set free. Leave him down. Pastor, this lady had strokes in 2012 behind both of her eyes. She could barely see. Coming into the service, it was hard for her to see. It's all gone and she sees perfectly clear, Pastor. Her eyes, both of them. So your eyes are, are okay now? I felt a warmth in my eyes, and I thought it was the Holy Spirit touching me. So well, he is. Of course he is. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Here goes the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pastor, this lady had severe allergies for the last 12 years. Just a second. She, keep keep she, talking to me. She could not go without having clothes all the way covered it showed 
there was marks all over her arm. She was filled with allergies and the abruptions from the allergies. It's all gone. Her skin is like a baby skin. She pulled off her sweater. There's no sign of any allergies. Or Let's give the Lord a mighty hand, people. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. What do you feel on you, lady? Uh, uh, tingling. Tingling. Uh, Touch. What happened to the man? A car wreck and an injury serious to his back. He could not stand up like this. He could not walk. All the pain is gone, Pastor. That's it's why, over. That's why he kept sitting down because he wasn't able... Yes. You couldn't stand even during the worship. As, as hard as I tried, I could only stand for so long. To even worship God in God's presence. The pain was so bad I couldn't stand. I had to sit and worship God. <laughs> but now? It's healing me. It's almost completely gone. Bring him here. Right here. Every bit of it goes. Every bit of it. Every bit of that pain. Every bit of it. Go! Now check it out now. It's gone. Of course it's gone. Let's give our Lord a mighty hand, people. Our wonderful Lord Jesus, in John chapter 5, we read, came to the pool of Bethesda in Jerusalem, looked at the crowd, and he saw a man there who'd been there a long time waiting for his miracle. And the Lord comes and asks this man a question. He sought him out and said, do you want a miracle? Will thou be made whole? Are you ready to receive your miracle today? And the man explained how he had tried to receive his healing and could not. And Jesus looks at this man and asks the question he's asking you today. Will you be made whole? Will you allow God to heal you today? Will you accept your healing? Will you accept that loving gift from the Lord himself? Now, the man that the Lord asked that question to did not even know who, who the Lord was. He did not know even the name Jesus. Had never heard the name of the Lord. Yet the Lord would choose him. And the Lord would say to a man who did not know who he was, do you want a miracle? Now, if God the Son would come to someone who did not know him, did not know the power in his name, did not know he is the miracle working God. Would he not come to his own children, to his own and say, do you want a miracle? Now you know what happened, the man was healed. He was healed immediately. As the Lord said, pick up your bed and walk. He's offering you, as he offered that man a miracle. I think this is a mighty question. Do you want your healing? He's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, he's the same. He doesn't change. He's still offering us that free gift, that miracle. Come on, let's believe. Let's also receive. So you stretch your hands towards me. I'm stretching my hands towards you. And let's ask the Lord Jesus himself to heal you today, to give you the miracle you need in your body, in your life, in your home, with your family. Come on, let's, let's agree together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come with that one watching me today on the program. And Lord, I believe with each one of them. I believe with that one right there watching that that miracle will come today. 
your power will touch them today. That amazing miracle will begin now in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so I take my place and I step into my office and I command that disease to go, that sickness to go in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that bondage to be gone, that problem in their life and family to be gone, that problem in their finance to be gone and cancel. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Grant that request today in your holy and mighty name. Amen and amen. Now you receive that healing. Arthritis in the right hip has just been healed just like that a second ago. A skin condition, a very bad skin condition, especially in the back. It's a lady. I see bleeding in your back area. God is healing you now, my dear. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. You feel God's blessed healing touch on your body. Someone with severe, severe sinuses. You've been on medication. Nothing has helped you. But the Lord is healing you now. And I see someone who just was in a car accident. You're in terrible pain. And the Lord has, has, has already touched you. All I want you to do right now is just stand up and walk around. You'll find the pain is gone from, your, from your, your body. And a young man who's just had a heart problem, he actually had a heart attack. Father, in Jesus' name, let the healing come. Let the miracle begin. Let the restoration in his body take place in Jesus' mighty name. Albert is your name. Albert, you expect now that healing in your body. And, and swelling around the right eye has just been healed also. Receive it now in the sweet, wonderful, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, the, the greatest miracle is salvation. So would you pray this with me? Just say, Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive my sins, Lord. Save my soul, Lord. Come into my heart today and wash me with your blood. I give you my life forever. Amen. He loves you. He loves you dearly. Keep watching. This is your day. And tell your friends and expect your miracle. It truly is on the way. This is your day for a miracle. Hi, my name is Chris Lindbergh, and I just want to encourage you with something today. And it's a great life principle, and that's this. Give up something today for something that I want tomorrow. Like, that's a great earth principle. So if, if you want to have a, a great retirement someday, you've got to give up some certain things now for that future day. See, wisdom always chooses the future over the present. And not only is that a great life principle... It's an even better eternity principle. In fact, I want you to see what Jesus said in Matthew. He said this in chapter 6 in verse 19 through 21. He said, don't store up treasures here on earth. In other words, don't just have earth bank accounts. In fact, Jesus right here was giving us the greatest stock insider trading tip of all time because he's telling us that this whole thing is going to burn up someday. So like he was saying, don't just plant all your eggs in this basket called earth. Because he, he goes on and he says, it's the place where moths eat them and rust destroys them or where thieves break in and steal. No, 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 no. Store your treasures in heaven. So let me just time out right there. I want to ask you a question. What does your heavenly bank account look like? And in fact, I think that we need to be very intentional about what that looks like. In fact, I encourage our folks that are in our church, make sure that you invest in things that are going to give you the greatest E-R-O-I, eternal return on investment. Because we do that in the natural, do we not? We find commodities and stocks and mutual funds and, and real estate and companies that are going to give us the greatest R-O-I. And I'm telling you, we need to do the exact same thing when it comes to kingdom arenas. We need to find places that are going to give us the greatest eternal return on investment. In fact, let me take a moment and just blow away a myth that gets floated out there from time to time about all of this. 
And I've heard people say that, that, that God is going to reward all good deeds. And I truly personally believe that not all good deeds will be rewarded by God. So for example, you can feed the whole world. And if the whole world goes to hell, you still lose. No, we're not just going to feed the world. We're going to feed the world in Jesus name. I'm going to find places that are feeding the world, that are touching the world, that are doing it in the name of Jesus. So in other words, if what I do on this earth shows up in eternity, there, there's a, a reward attached to that. And that's why I'm so thankful for Pastor Benny Hinn's ministry. It's an opportunity to be a part of a ministry that is impacting the world with the saving and healing power of Jesus Christ, literally raising up tens of thousands of pastors to be touched by the power of God, going places that you can never go, but because of your support, they're able to go. In fact, Jesus continues on and he says, moths and rust cannot destroy this. and Thieves don't break in and steal when it's invested into heaven. And he said this, which by the way, if one of you want to know why somebody that shows up to church sometimes seems like they're more in love with Jesus than you are, I'll, I'll give you one of the secrets to that. And that is that that's where their treasure is. Their treasure is in heaven. See, Jesus said this, wherever your treasure is, so wherever you're, you're serving, your attention, your money is, wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And I believe that we have the opportunity to vest into the kingdom of God. And I'm going to ask you to do that today. In fact, I'm going to ask you today to call that number that's on your screen. The ways to give are right there. And I want to bless you today as, as you do just that. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your people today as we step out to make a difference with our resources. And we pray, oh God, that you would use them to see this world touched and saved and changed in the mighty strong name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.